It happened to me five years ago. My parents were divorcing and things at school and with friends weren't too good. I felt like the world was falling down around me. That's when I met someone online. We would chat about everything in my life. I finally had someone to take my side and see things my way. I had someone to put me first. No matter how much I thought we could trust each other, I knew better than to meet in person with someone I had met on the internet. But one day, when school was dismissed early, there was someone waiting for me at my front door. I never thought I'd find myself in this situation. I learned the hard way that no matter who you think you're talking to online, there are people out there looking to hurt you. It doesn't matter if they're male or female, or if they look a little rough around the edges, or even if they're the most beautiful person. These people exist, online and in the real world. It happened to me too. I was 14 and someone online sent me a private message. I shouldn't have responded, but I messaged back and seven days later, agreed to be picked up outside of my house at midnight. I was taken to another house and what happened there was terrifying. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. I felt numb and powerless and didn't know what to do. I was too afraid to tell my parents and ashamed of what everyone would think of me. But hiding it was a mistake. I saw the car that I was taking and driving around my neighborhood all summer long. Was I being targeted again or was someone else being victimized? I finally decided to tell someone. I have to live with the decision I made to trust someone I met on the internet. But the important thing is that I told someone. I'm not, not a, a victim, victim, but a survivor. survivor.